This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. CNN once did a documentary about the legendary civil rights photographer Ernest Withers. You may not know his name, but you know his work. He shot many of the images of Martin Luther King that you've seen a million times. Years after Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Well, it turns out Withers was an informant for the feds. But before you go rushing to condemn him, as so many others have, here's some food for thought. Food that might be nutritious for today's liberty movement. It appears that Withers was sympathetic toward, and originally just another part, of the movement he was informing on. Washington apparently pressured him into informing. I also have the impression from the CNN article that the feds didn't really hurt the people that he was informing on. They just were gathering information for the most part. This is in line with the history that came after and before. Washington has infiltrated Quakers and peace movements, and probably has long since infiltrated free staters too. But historically, they generally don't move against peaceful groups. And you know what? If you get too close to me with that camera, I'll take it out of your hand and ram it down your throat. Now, today's government in D.C. is not your mama's Washington. But generally, I tend to trust history more than headlines. What's happened before is probably what will happen again. Anyway, the uh, you know, surviving civil rights folks tend to be divided regarding Withers. One of them called him a Judas. But I kind of like Andrew Young's take on it. The civil rights survivor and former UN ambassador says, We were all supposed to be informants. We were supposed to inform on ourselves. We're going to break this bad law on such and such a date at such and such a place keep the authorities informed in some form or fashion because we weren't out to evade the laws of the United States. We were out to uphold the Constitution of the United States. That's what he said. And maybe if he'd really meant it, he would have turned down that UN job. But I sort of like his take on Withers, and I think it has applications to our movement. You can make a stronger case for Withers becoming an informant than you can for a libertarian to become an informant. Withers' endeavors were not explicitly anti-federal to the extent that ours are. This caveat may wind up playing out in the form of harsher federal treatment. We may have a harder run of it from the feds than King's folks did. But for the moment, we're right on track to following the historical precedent of the Quakers and the peace movements before us in the way Washington handles this. Maybe it is our job to welcome federal informers more than fearing them. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Edge don't want you to hear them.